Well, spring is finally here and around this time many try to find a new home to make lasting memories in. But with the prices so high right now, that's making it hard to purchase a new home. Our Zainab Shaib joins us live inside a home that's for sale in Sylvania right now. So Zainab, you're with a realtor. I know you've been asking that key question this morning. Will we see prices drop anytime soon? That's right, Tim. You know, it's really hard to tell uh, because if we had a crystal ball, we would be millionaires, right? But hopefully a realtor can help us out. Now with me is Elizabeth with iLink. She's a realtor. Now, Tim and I were just actually talking about how do we know what the prices are going to look like? Do you think it's a great time to purchase a home with the price of sky high? If only we had a crystal ball. Mm -hmm. That's the million dollar question. I think that prices will continue to increase as the inventory decreases. So as the inventory decreases, so basically we need more builders so for it, uh, the house prices to go down, correct? That is correct. We need to have more inventory before we are going to see a decrease in prices. This subdivision here is only 50% developed, so there's lots of room in Brookside mm -hmm. for the preferred developer, Brent Ducat of Ducat Building, to come and build you guys the home that you would want. How wonderful. Now, Elizabeth, can you tell us some tips prior to looking for that home? Because I know in some cases you fall in love with the home and then guess what? It's gone uh, moments later. You have to have all your ducks in a row. The first thing you want to make sure is you have a pre-approval. You have your whys. Why are you wanting to purchase a new home? What are your reasons? Is it a short term, a long term? What's the plan? You want to have a good relationship with your realtor and with your lender. Those are going to be ways to help you be successful in. Have you ever seen where somebody wants to sell their home because the market is doing really well and then they're like, oh no, I don't have a house to live in after I sell. Is that kind of a trend you've guys been noticing? That is a trend. That's one of the first questions that I like to ask somebody that approaches me in selling a home is what is your exit strategy? You have to have a end plan, but with a good realtor and a good team that you brought to your family, making that happen is not impossible. And how can we access your team? I know it's iLink. We're at iLink Real Estate. You can call me, text me, email me, find me on Facebook. Um, my phone number is 419-343-8269. The uh, iLink website I'm not really sure what that is. <laughs> yes, all right. But well, Google will tell you. <laughs> thank you. And then we'll actually have that over on our website. You can Perfect. find it on fox36.com and click on the WTOL 11 tab for all that information and more. Live in Sylvania, Zainab Shahid for WTOL 11 on Fox 36.